What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we've got our week seven matchup of the superstar mode for the Pittsburgh Steelers playing corner. We're gonna be going uh yeah, we're going out to LA play against the Rams. We just came off a of bye week after beating the Ravens, beating the shit out of the Ravens at home. Uh I don't think we can see a playoff standings yet. We're only three and two. We're not even at the first we'll be just hitting the first quarter of the season mark. But right now we are sitting pretty nice still. I know the Ravens are even. But we'll hop right into this game. Crank out ours against the Rams. See where we're at. We'll catch you guys at the stadium. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And all eyes are on Cooper Cup. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they come in with some fresh legs. Oh, they don't want to put me on Cooper. Whatever. Whatever. I won't complain. Now fourth year man, it's Cam Akers. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Stafford. He's going to find that one open downfield. Yep. Take it down yeah, and that's not fun. Cross midfield. That one might have been my fault. 24 yards. It's a first down. Back to throw, Stafford. Right back to Atwell, that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now following the completion, we're gonna get a stoppage here for an injury. Second and a couple. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff though, gonna take a peek and we'll take a break. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. All right, big third down. They're going to run a pitch. Play action. Stafford. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first. Come on, down. man. Maybe he didn't make it. He got pushed back over the line. To throw is Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Off the fake to Akers. Here's Stafford. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. Mm, I was wanting him to throw that one. I was hoping they'd throw that fucking corner out right there. And I was going to try and yeet. Yeet. First down to work uh oh with. he's like one of those great shooters in motion. basketball that has his rhythm has his confidence and he doesn't think anything is going to miss right now as far as he's concerned he's going to be perfect the entire game and who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now hmm. and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards and they'll be left with a second and about a foot Stafford going to give this to Akers and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. I'm by the side so now, it's Jeff. Play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners oh, with great I'm vision. Really you know, those eyes that carry now. their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Touchdown, Rams. Okay. Cooper Cup with touchdown number 7 on the year. And the Rams are on the board first here this afternoon. 
Now Stafford. On the corner. Oh man, they were gonna they were gonna throw the corner. Oh holy shit. Fucking yeeted him right there, eh? Stafford to his number one guy count for Los Angeles first. And we're on to the second quarter. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. On first down, Stafford here. Beautiful! Oh, and then we're making a move, 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 we're making a move! We are making moves! But no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that have made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level. Hell yeah. And they can change a game at a moment's notice. That was cool. The 39. And this offense on third down today. Third and seven. Perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. To the right side. It oh, to we tackled him short, though. He got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. The third quarter of play. Now Akers to start the third quarter. Oh, oh man. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Offense. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's okay, Cooper. How difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. Hell yeah. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang uh, on. I think that was Minka, wasn't it? So I got a deep zone. Back We're going to throw, sit at the Stafford. Bottom. Now throw here right sideline falls complete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. Throwing a Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. Dang it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave it with a second and just a few inches left. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. Here we go, big time. Defense getting ready for big time, KP. Now let's see if we can get you a little bit of help here. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Holding offense. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position. And sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Stafford now to throw. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And they're going to get this beyond. Dude, that guy's nutty. A good pick up there, 26 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by and I just tried to fucking hit stick like a mongoloid. Just shy of the 40. 18 <sighs> first down. Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Again, it's Stafford. 
That's quickly to Atwell on the slam. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 21. All right, we need a third down, third down stop right here. Absolutely just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, here's a run by Akers. Hell yeah. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Oh, and Kenny gives this to lead. Defense back onto the field here. Keep him out of the end zone. That's all we got to do. Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Stafford now to throw. Another one. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after all me. Right, all nothing right here. I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now Stafford. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. And let's run a cover this two. This entire game is down to the next snap. Got this. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. He's got that one. And complete. we just blew that one. He's going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. And incomplete on the deep ball. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Now Stafford. Now throw right side here. Going to be incomplete. Back to back incompletions, but we know this I'm is nervous. definitely poor down. I'm getting territory. nervous. Time not on their I'm getting side. nervous. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Oh, now the throw on third down knocked away and incomplete. Like it's in and out of our hands. To push that ball downfield, but as soon as it another fourth the throw, down, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Right the decision now. made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. <laughs> on fourth down, Stafford. He's going to float this one deep right side. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a God final damn it. To, to try and steal this win away. So the that one sucks. A victory here. And I tell you what, one thing that you and I featured as a storyline was that they were facing the NFL's number one defense coming in, and they really took it right to them. Yeah, they didn't blink, did they?